hello in today's class we will start a new topic that is earth's magnetism we know that the earth behaves as if a huge bar magnet is in embedded inside it and that uh, the magnet which is buried produces a magnetic field and its value is around 10 to the power minus 5 tesla the earth behaves as a magnet i said so we will see some of the terms related to this earth's magnetism before that we will see uh, the terms which we know that is geographical axis so we'll see what is the difference between geographic axis and magnetic axis you if you know in a bar magnet what is a magnetic axis so as i said inside the earth we can assume that a huge magnet is buried so where the axis of this magnet lies is it same as the geographic axis so we'll we'll see all these things so first let me tell you the definition of geographic axis which you already know so but still let me write that geographic axis what is geographic axis geographic axis is the axis of rotation of the earth the geograph the axis of rotation of earth is called the geographic axis geographic axis the axis of rotation of earth is called the geographic axis and if you consider a vertical plane passing through the geographic axis we call it as geographic meridian geographic meridian a vertical plane passing through the geographic axis or the geographic meridian okay so geographic axis is the axis with respect to which the earth rotates and if you consider a vertical plane which is passing through the geographic axis we call it as geographic meridian for example i'll show you the figure here so this this line represents geographic axis you know that and the geographic meridian is a plane it's a vertical plane which is considered as passing through the geographic axis so this will be a, the geographical meridian now we'll see what is magnetic axis and is it same as geographic axis next we have magnetic axis magnetic axis the axis of huge bar magnet which is assumed to be embedded inside the earth is called as the magnetic axis so earth behaves as a huge magnet so we can consider as a huge bar magnet is embedded inside the earth if you consider the axis of that magnet then we call it as magnetic axis so i can write it as the axis of huge bar magnet huge bar magnet assumed to be embedded assumed to be embedded inside the earth is called the magnetic axis next what is magnetic meridian so a vertical line passing through the magnetic axis of the earth is called magnetic meridian 
these are important because the other terms we are defining depending upon these quantities magnetic meridian the vertical plane passing through a vertical plane passing through the magnetic axis of earth is called the magnetic meridian in the figure i can show you the magnetic axis and the magnetic axis and the geographic axis does not coincide or you know the axis of the dipole which is assumed to be embedded inside the earth does not coincide with the axis of rotation of the earth or magnetic axis and geographic axis do not coincide so the angle between them is approximately 11.3 degree the magnetic axis is slightly tilted by 11.3 degree so if this is geographic meridian this will form the magnetic meridian so it is a vertical plane which passes through this magnetic axis now we'll see some of the magnetic elements of earth's magnetic field these are important so now we know geographic axis magnetic axis what is geographic meridian what is magnetic meridian so next we will we'll see uh, you'll be asked to define the quantities which i am going to write it now like it these are called magnetic elements of earth's magnetic field so what are these these are physical quantities which determine the intensity of earth's total magnetic field so i'll write magnetic elements of earth's magnetic field earth's magnetic field what are the magnetic elements of earth's magnetic field these are the physical quantities which determine the intensity of earth's magnetic field or i can say earth's total magnetic field at a place there are three important terms to be defined first one is magnetic declination magnetic elements of earth's magnetic field so first one is magnetic declination what is magnetic declination magnetic declination at a place is the angle between the geographic meridian and the magnetic meridian so it can be defined as magnetic declination it can be defined as at a place it is the angle between geographic meridian and the magnetic meridian okay it is denoted generally by theta okay right it is denoted by theta now if you see the picture here this angle so this is the geographical meridian and this is the magnetic meridian the angle between them here i have marked as theta so this is the angle theta which is called magnetic declination so magnetic declination at a place is defined as the angle between the geographic meridian and the magnetic meridian and generally it is denoted by theta the next one is second one
angle of dip or magnetic inclination inclination angle of dip or magnetic inclination so how do we define this it is again the angle so angle of dip or magnetic declination at a place is defined as as magnetic inclination at a place we define similarly angle of dip or magnetic inclination at a place is defined as the angle made by earth's total magnetic field angle made by the earth's total magnetic field with the horizontal direction the horizontal direction if i show you it is denoted by next i'll write it is denoted by it is denoted by delta i can show you in the picture now go back to the picture here this is delta if you see here this is the total magnetic field b the angle between total magnetic field of the earth with the horizontal direction or it is the angle between bh and b b is the total magnetic field b is the total magnetic field and bh is the magnetic field along the horizontal direction so magnetic in inclination or the angle of dip is the at a place is defined as the angle made by earth's total magnetic field with the horizontal direction at magnetic equator of earth so along the equator if you calculate the angle of dip is zero or minimum and at magnetic pole of earth or at magnetic pole of earth delta is maximum or 90 degree so delta is zero or minimum zero or minimum at magnetic equator and delta is 90 degree or it is maximum at magnetic poles at magnetic pole delta is maximum and at magnetic equator delta is minimum because it is the uh, angle made by the magnetic field along the ho horizontal direction now we have two other components that is horizontal component and the vertical component of magnetic field so third one i'll write horizontal component of earth's magnetic field this is the component of earth's magnetic field along the horizontal direction the component of earth's earth's magnetic field sorry the component of earth's magnetic field you have to write the component of earth's 
magnetic field along the horizontal direction and what is the vertical component of force magnetic field it is the component of force ma magnetic field along the vertical direction magnetic field the components the component of earth's magnetic field along the vertical direction horizontal component of force magnetic field is the component of force magnetic field along the horizontal direction similarly vertical component of force magnetic field is the component of force magnetic field along the vertical direction